Hi, welcome. Today I would like to talk about uh, a pretty uh, favorite topic in UI design, whether to do pagination or to do infinite scroll. So I'm going to use uh, React as an example. And so I basically have a starter app, which is showing the logo. And I can show you the code. There's really not much to it. So all I'm going to do at this point is to add uh, a method which says repeat logo and repeat logo is essentially going through a loop and put in 200 of this image sources and uh, uh, header to and that's what it is going to do. So if you take a quick look, you can see it has got all of these things set up. So one thing you can uh, do in uh, Chrome browser is to look at the rendering performance and I'm going to highlight scrolling performance issues to see if we see any issues here. So you can see the scroll is pretty reasonable and I don't see anything really highlighted in terms of event handlers being attached. You can also uh, check on an FPS meter. And if you just do this, you can see that the frame rate drops below 60 uh, for a short while and then the frame rate is okay and the scroll still seems to be okay. So what if I increase this from 200 to let's say 2000, uh, you can actually see a visible difference. So you can see that it takes a while for it to show up and the frame rate drops a lot and for a very a fairly long time actually and the scroll is not really that even. So one thing uh, to keep in mind that if you're designing an infinite scroll uh, kind of a UI, uh, you really don't want to put everything in the DOM because no matter what kind of uh, framework you have, uh, it is going to slow down uh, quite a bit. So uh, in, in terms of pagination, actually it's going to be a lot easier because you are only showing uh, content for one page at a time and you're not going to have any performance issues related to the DOM. Uh, another thing I wanted to uh, kind of address here is that uh, let's say if I, uh, how would you go about designing uh, something which is an infinite scroll? Uh, so I've done the same thing and you can see here it says the bottom has been reached. So here you go up and in my console you can uh, check uh, the message. It says not at bottom, not at bottom. And if you go to the very uh, end you can say the bottom has been reached. So to detect that in, uh, there is basically a, some set of uh, code that you can use. Uh, good thing about React is you can access the window element, you can get the inner width and inner height. And once you have that, you can compare against the document height, run a little bit of math and figure out if the window bottom is greater than the document height. You can set the stage, uh, set the state to be bottom reached, otherwise stage is not at bottom. And this is uh, actually this or similar logic can essentially be used to determine whether you want to add a few more elements. So for infinite scroll to for performance reasons and everything else, you still want to make sure that you don't have too many things in the DOM and pagination is going to be a lot easier. And let me show you an example of where you can actually see the scrolling performance issues show up. So I'm going to demonstrate this with my own app, which is under God Associates. And this is uh, actually an Ember app. And as soon as I highlight the scrolling performance issues, it says that the touch event listener is attached uh, to this whole uh, screen basically. And that's something that Ember.js, uh, which is another framework, it does that. And um, you can see this is just essentially being shown here. And if I plot the FPS meter, you can see the frame rate drops a lot then kind of uh, goes flip flop up and down. But so just keep in mind that when you're designing a UI, pagination is going to be a lot easier on your performance. If you have too many uh, elements on the DOM, uh, no matter what platform you use, it's going to actually affect your performance. So a careful design might be needed uh, in those cases. Thank you for watching this short screencast and you have a great day.